My name is Matt Bernier. I'm a handicapper for the Daily Racing Forum and NBC Sports. I got into horse racing really by chance. I happened to be going home from my school to my parents' house when I was only about a town away in college and happened to come across one of the racing channels, got a little bit invested into that, tried to figure out what was what and who was determining what certain odds were for certain horses. One thing led to another. I got involved in tournaments. From the tournaments, got involved with a TV show called Horse Players, and from there got a job with the Daily Racing Forum. It's been, been a good ride ever since. So we have three Breeders' Cup win in your in races today. We have one for the Philly and Mare Sprint Division today, one for the two-year-old boys, the juvenile, and one for the Breeders' Cup Mile, which is one mile on the turf, and that's going to be the Shadwell Turf Mile. We are off now to a 1.30 production meeting for the NBC show. We're going to go and see what the, the new rundown looks like, and we'll have to change a couple things as far as like picks are concerned, but it shouldn't be too, too bad, but we'll go and listen. Show, we're going to come on the air. Time to have your scene set, your voice the race is live, like we talked about. And can I, can I take my cord? Thanks. And then Tom, you want the gates open for a turf becker. And then uh, that's it. Yellow agate. Agate. I don't know what that means. Agate? agate? Is it yellow agate? <laughs> <laughs> We've got three pronunciations. Agate. Which chair would you like? This one or this one? That's it. This one here? All right. Just look yeah. at that face. This is, this is terrible. <laughs> this is... Okay, you are cool. done. Cool. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, gosh. That's the dismount right there. So the first time I was here, I went out there on the roof and looked out. And you can see down through the infield, they've got hedges cut. And it says Keeneland. And you can just see nothing but green rolling hills and farms all the way out. If you're a, a thoroughbred fan, if you're a horse fan, um, you you kind of have to come here. All right, thanks, Matt. Tom, is this the day someone stops stepping? Getting ready to kick off three grade one races. The telecast and NBC is getting ready to kick off. But in many ways, this is the main event coming up because we get to see the champion, Teppin, see if she can beat the girls, the first ladies coming up. And they're off in the first lady. I mean, she might be gone. The eight race win streak is in danger. Photo call trying to get to the wire. A front one, a victory, upsetting Teppan and the first lady. And that's Design why, that's why there's no guarantees in horse racing. A horse that's loose on the lead is always at their most dangerous. That's what photo call was. Teppan ran her race. She was just a little bit too far back and she made up good ground late. But um, for me, it doesn't help. I didn't pick the filly that won. But hey, at the end of the day, if you did, good on you. We move on to the next race. They'll be coming to the gate soon. Who are you picking? Well, I need this one so I don't go over three here today. I didn't want today. to say that. You it's fine. I didn't it's say fine. That. Got to put the pressure on. I can't go over three today. I like the Philly against the boys. I like Miss Temple City. I like her tactical speed. I think she gets a good trip and I think she gets it done. All right. Fingers crossed. That's it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. This is your time. And Tom, as you mentioned earlier, if she's able to do it, it'll be the first time in 22 years that a Philly has beaten the boys in this race. And they're off in the Shadwell Turf Mile. Pluven is away quickly from the inside. What a view, and Miss Temple City have early speed. And Arch looks for room four from the inside, then what a view, and begin to swing south of the center. Miss Temple City is the leader. What a view needs room. Tourist is there on the outside. Go on with it, sweetie. Dig in. And here comes a big charge from Ironicus, way out on the grandstand side. Miss Temple City, Ironicus charging. Hey. Miss Temple City up here to hang on with the head bomb from Ironicus in one minute, 30 seconds. Needed it. Seconds. Can't go over. Can't go over. Miss Temple City got the trip that I thought she was going to. Uh, the pace didn't develop quite the way I thought it would, but at the end of the day, she got a beautiful, beautiful trip. I thought Edgar Prado did everything right. Um, Miss Temple City gets the win, and thankfully for me, I don't get shut out today. One for three. One for three. If it were baseball, if it were baseball, I'd be in the Hall of Fame, but this ain't baseball. <laughs>